having a good uh, a good Thursday? Am I? Oh, are you talking to them? Yeah, I'm just, sorry, I hope I the audience is having a good Thursday. I hope you're having a good Thursday as yeah, well. Yeah, I love that you say, I hope you're having a good Thursday. It's like first thing in the morning. How well, good? you know. <laughs> wow, it's, it can only go uphill from now. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. So you must be exhausted because you had the, the live America's Got Talent. I have a bone to pick with you, though, because last Already? night, yeah, last night, there are so many things to watch on TV all at once. There's America's Got Talent, right. there's the X Factor, there's right. the voice. Right. What's a viewer to do? Like, why do they schedule all these things at the same time? And you have to, you want to take that up with me. Like yes, I, 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 like well, I have something to do with the fact if I had, how they you know, schedule. Yes, if I had the and, network programmers here, I would And two of the them. shows were uh, produced by Simon Cowell. Right, right, so why is he doing that? Are, he doesn't do that. You know that. I who, don't know how it who works. Who put you on now? I have no idea. That's the point. Right. <laughs> and you know what? There's, there's stuff on other channels. Who put stuff on other channels? No, I know. You know what? There's actually, who put that well, there now? Something just dropped. And now more things are falling and but, popping. But you know, it's a brand new, it's a brand it's, new. What studio. is it? It's our brand new set of light bulbs. It's a light, light bulb? bulb so well, I light think. bulb just went off. <laughs> so we're going to be doing talking in the dark. <laughs> in the, in the <laughs> minute. Actually, that happened to us last year. No, really? but it's very irritating, I think, for what viewers when... You want to, you know, there's all these great shows and they're fun to watch and right. they've got huge stars in them and you kind of want to see, you know, what's, what's Britney Spears? Is she going to go completely nuts tonight? You know, right. what's, what's going to happen? And all, what what but, are you and, and here's what? I, here's what I have to say. First of all, we're, we were a finale, so people right. should watch that. There's only one finale. Tonight's the tonight's actual finale. Right, tonight's finale. the actual finale at 8 o'clock. We find that, we find that out. And there's a good chance, if you want to see Britney Spears go nuts, there's a good chance she'll go nuts next week and the week after that and the week after that. <laughs> I'm glad she's made a comeback, frankly, but I, but I digress. Go ahead. No, it's okay. Has she... Has she well, no, me... I, I, I like it when people who, you know, have gone through troubles kind of seem to get their act together. Well, and... we, we haven't seen the show yet, so you don't know. Well, well I, 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 I got a peek at it, and, and uh, she seems, you know, she seems, that whole bubblegum chewing Britney seems to be gone, and she seems more like mean Britney now. And that's better. That's a comeback. A little bit, really? yeah. <laughs> sure. I think it's more real. I didn't now buy that. she's the... got anger management issues rather than <laughs> yes. just the... Uh, yeah, exactly. The uh, fueled... What well, she doesn't... She's not on... She wasn't taking... Did she have substance abuse? I don't think she I, did. I don't think she did. I, think, I don't think I she think did. She just... shaved her head. Isn't that nuts? Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> that's nuts. Can you imagine that? <laughs> that was crazy. She took off her underpants and shaved her head. Yeah. Now, are you, are, are you glad... I've done that. This is the finale for Merck's Got Talent just because of your Mute. you don't have to sit next to Howard Stern no I like Howard Stern I'm but you a, guys I'm are feuding of, we're not feuding we, we, you know what we respect each other I think Howard Stern I'm, I've been a fan of Howard's for years and years he's a friend of mine and he's I was a great thrilled. interviewer he's I, a, I, he's an I never really listened to him until recently I don't know where I've been uh, he does really good interviews. He does, because he's like you and me and everybody out there. He's really interested, and he asks the questions that you want to, that you want to hear. Right. You know, and I think a lot of people on television are concerned with, you know, how it's going, to, you know, uh, about maybe uh, not going, not crossing that line. Right. He, he crosses doesn't... that line. That's the first question. He's he never does. been on this side of the line. <laughs> right. So, so uh, the thing is that I'm thrilled, except that the fact that he's on the show, we have to do it here on the East Coast, and I commute. Because right. I live in L.A. and I work in L.A. And every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, whenever the show is on, I fly in. You know what's weird? I've, I've said this before. I get up, myself and Sharon Osbourne, we get on a, on a plane every week. Mm -hmm. I, I pack. I get on a plane. I fly five hours. I go to the airport. I get my luggage. I go to the hotel. They pick me up at the hotel. I go to the studio, which is in Newark. And I get ready for the show. And I do the show. And then Howard comes in and he goes, oh, my God, that traffic in the tunnel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, for you, go, flying, do you do it? And for I, you, flying must be a nightmare, nightmare because you have your whole germ thing. I like that your cup is in a, a you. hermetically, hermetically sealed, sealed thank you. Yeah, plastic thing. Yeah, where did they find this plastic yeah. bag? That's we like also... a filthy plastic bag that you put over my cup. <laughs> But it is a brand new Anderson Live. It's a Live. brand new cup. Yes. You can a sippy see cup. Yeah, a An sippy Anderson cup. Live sippy right. cup. Right, and it's hermetically sealed. Yes. We also, we know you don't like germs, but these are some germ toys we got you. Are they um, really? Yeah. This is apparently... Bacteria. What, this, is this is salmonella, what, apparently. Really? What is this? Maybe this is... Oh, no, this is E. coli. I didn't know this is what E. coli... Really? I didn't know E. coli was stuff? so friendly looking. Who created it's germs? A, little, a whole lot of germ I toys. would imagine this is, was my problem, at the seed of my problem. This is what was <laughs> right. in my crib. Yeah. This is why I have these issues today. We weren't even sure you would touch the germ toys. Oh, maybe. Uh, no, I touch. It's <laughs> hands. It's hand yeah. to hand, hand to hand. Right. I well, touch we, other I've, I've told this story before, but I, I once ran into you at uh, at CNN, 
and I there's a, a um, there's like a, a green room, like a VIP green room for for big celebrities like uh, like Howie. It's when the lobby. They come. We were in the lobby. No VIP no. green. No, room. it was a green room, <laughs> and it has it wasn't a real, in the VIP no, green but room. But it's on the floor of my offices, and it has a really nice bathroom. And so I like to use that bathroom. So I like to sneak into the celebrity green room to use the bathroom because no one else really uses it. If he's it's using the bathroom. He goes, "Ooh, I'm using the celebrity." Right? Space. Yes, it's I not am. A cele- it's well, the lobby. It's the toilet in the lobby. No, it's not. It's a celebrity green room, and it, it's like a really nice bathroom. So I was in there, I'd, and I'm not supposed to. No one's supposed to go in there. But I figure, like, what are they going to fire me? So I used it, and I was in there, and I was washing my hands, and I was drying my hands, and I hear someone come into the green room, and I'm like, "Oh no, I've been busted." Now I'm going to have to interact with somebody. Right. And I leave, and it's, it's Howie, and I immediately go to shake his hand, and I, I see that. the look of horror right. on his face. Because not only is it a handshake, it's a handshake from a guy who's just left the bathroom. Oh, I hate that. And my hand was still a little wet. But it was wet from the water, but then it's one of those things like, you know when you're in the bathroom and you shake hands with someone, you have to explain, like, oh, it's wet from the water. <laughs> I felt really bad. <laughs> and you left the seat up. And I left the seat up, yes. Yeah. Speaking of germs, um, there is a photo that has been making headlines, has been on a ton of blogs, um, of someone took a photo, and we have the, the lady in the audience who took the photo. She was in a restaurant, right. and someone else was potty training their baby in the restaurant. In the restaurant. Here's yes. the photo. Uh, you, you took this photo, right? Really? What's your name? Kimberly. Oh, Kimberly, let me, let me come over here. What, what, um, so when you saw this, what were you thinking? Well, at first I thought she was sitting on like a booster chair. And then I did a double take and realized she's sitting on a toddler potty. And I, I, I was appalled, but at the same time, I nobody was really. Nobody was reacting. Nobody was. Nobody reacting. reacted. I looked at my. I had a friend. Talk about a poo poo play. Yeah. That's very good. Very good. Correct, sir. <laughs> yeah, it was literally a crappy situation, but no. I was sitting across from my friend, and I kind of nudged her and was like, and she's like, I know, and that's when I snapped the picture. Posted on my personal uh, Facebook page is just kind of a joke. It has and blown up. Yeah. It's been everywhere. Yeah, I it's know. been ever. Did you say anything to the person? No, no, and nobody did. And That's did the, so and, weird. And did, did the kid complete the business? And and. <laughs> you know it. it Could you eat show after it. that? I mean, it really it was it was strange, and it, you don't see it, but there's twins. There was two of them. Oh so, Lord. Yeah. Wow. You know what's weird? If somebody would light a cigarette in a restaurant. Everyone would be up in arms. Right, right, right. Yeah. But somebody but pulls down their pants you, and defecates. That's okay. I heard you. You actually don't think this is so bad. I saw you kind of shaking your head. No, actually, I think putting a picture of a child you don't know on Facebook is a little bit worse. You think taking the picture is worse? Yeah. But why? You, why do you think it's because okay? Because it's not her child to take a picture and put it on Facebook. Number one. Number two. This. Poor mom's trying to potty train t- twins. <laughs> She's probably having a bad day. I live in Manhattan, and trust me, every single mom has a porta potty. But yeah. in a restaurant? I mean, in a restaurant, I would say, you know, it's Can not you take teaching. them to the bathroom? I mean, maybe she, you know, maybe she was having a really rough day. No. The other thing is, is that. Uh, you know, part of training, know. part of training is to leave the room. You know, part of training yeah, but, is to just I not mean, to do it where you are. I had, a, I had a situation once. I'll tell you something. We, we were we potty trained my children, and well, they're in their 20s, and I'm so proud. But, the, <laughs> but, but, and so I, I was aware, and it was a big deal for my wife, right, to d- do it, and she read all the books and figured out how to do it. The most embarrassing moment of my life is we were shopping, we were renovating our home, and we were in a in a, a, a bathroom kitchen supply store, uh-huh. and and. The manager uh, comes over uh-oh. and says, can I talk to you, sir? And I said, w- yes. And then uh, he takes me over to a display. Uh-huh. And my daughter oh, had no. used the display. <laughs> and my wife, Thanks. who wanted to be positive uh-huh. to the child, went, good girl, good uh-huh. girl. <laughs> and, uh-huh. and I had to buy, I bought well, the toilet. I bought, the, right. I, bu- I did, because I felt so bad. I like, I must say, <laughs> that's great. 
I do like in that photo, if you could show the photo again, I like in the photo, first of all, the kid is completely stripped, but has a very nice flower in her hair. <laughs> you know? The flower is perfect. Anyway, I, it's one of those things you see and you're like, I can't believe that's going on, at least for me. There's also a, a, just a quick video I want to show you. Um, there was a bus driver who was driving a special needs school bus, and every day, this car, you know when a bus stops, they put out the red thing, and you're supposed to stop and let the kids get off. This driver would go around, and so oh. he got so annoyed that he videotaped, that, that she videotaped it one day and called the police, and the police were waiting and totally busted the driver. Yes. Isn't that great? I like that. Um, yeah. Christine on Facebook says that license should be taken away. Uh, uh, the license was apparently taken. I think they just got like a, a summons or like a warning. They were let well, off. That, what an example. Well, now, was this person, did they have a child in the car? Or well, we don't know that. Uh, they didn't have a child. We don't know if they had a child in the car, but there were kids on the bus, special needs kids, and the mother, uh, apparently the, the, the mom who's driving the car just said, well, the school bus took so long to offload those kids. It's like, you know what? Take another street. She did this every day, apparently. There's no connection between the... It was, her, it was what? She was in the car with her mom. She was in the car with her mom. Right. Yeah, their mother, daughter. That's a piece of work. information that so doesn't really help the story, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Terrence. I appreciate that. We got to take a, a quick break. Yesterday, we had a mom on the show, uh, uh, Lenore Scanese, made headlines and drew outrage from our audience and a lot of people <laughs> because she was having an unsupervised play date for kids. She wanted to charge them $350. We brought her back. We'll talk about that. We'll see how that went. We'll be right back. I love that.